Hi guys, Slimerage here and I'm back again. Today I'll be showing you how to get photos, videos, anything like that from your iPhone, iPod or iPad onto your PlayStation 3. Now, uh, in order to do this, you need to download an application from the App Store, uh, which allows you to transfer your photos, that kind of stuff, onto your PlayStation 3. Now, the steps to do this, uh, I'll go through uh, individually so you won't have to get too confused over this. It's very simple. All you do is the following. First thing you can do is go to the App Store and go to search and type in iMedia Share Lite or iMedia Share. And what you'll get is two um, apps. One's the free version and one's the paid version. Okay. Download the free version and open it up. When you've opened the free version, iMedia Share, you'll get a bunch of tabs with featured music, movies, yada, yada, yada. And the first thing you want to do is in order for this to connect to your PlayStation is you need to sign in. Now, uh, it recommends that you sign in using Facebook. So uh, if you don't have Facebook, I suggest you should make one. Uh, well, I'm sure a lot of people have Facebook these days. In order to do that, just click the drop down arrow at the top of the menu you should call near iMedia Share and just sign in with your Facebook. Uh, make sure that location is turned on, otherwise this will not work. Scroll down till you see a tab called personal. And you should see camera roll videos, camera roll photos, music, the Facebook logo, another logo, I think it's called uh, Picasso. But you don't have to worry about that. You can log in with that if you want to. And then local network. So in order for this to respond to your PlayStation or your PlayStation to re recognize your iPhone, you need to go to your PlayStation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video, go onto my PlayStation and show you guys exactly what to do. Okay guys, so when you're on your PlayStation, you will have, as you know, the three tabs, photo, music and video. As you can see right now, there are no uh, media share kind of icons on my PlayStation because I have yet to enable it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings, I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom, go to network settings, go to media service connection, and make sure that this is enabled. If it's not already enabled, obviously enable it. If it's already enabled, leave it as it is. Now, once you've done that, go to photos, and you'll see right away iMedia Share Lite pops up. It's the same for music, there it is again, and the same for videos. Okay? In the brackets is the name of my phone, so whatever the name of your phone is, is what it will be in those brackets. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick music, okay? So if you go back to your iPhone, with that iMedia Share tab still open on your phone, go to music. By the way, this is just for an example for the video. You can use whatever you want in terms of photos and videos, but for the purpose of this video. Now, it will open your iTunes on your phone and just pick a song. So I'll just pick the very first song on my uh, song list, which is Ed Sheeran, the A-Team. So we'll just pick Drunk, the song. Okay, now I've clicked the song. Once you've done that, click Done. And a window will pop up asking you what device you want it on. We obviously want this on the PlayStation 3. Another window will pop up asking you to do the following steps in order to hear the song on your PlayStation 3. So we're going to do those steps. On your PlayStation, as you'll see on the screen now, go to Music, iMedia Share Lite, Music again, the folder, and Now Playing. You'll see the song you literally just clicked from your phone. The song Drunk by Ed Sheeran. In order to hear this, obviously click it. And it'll start playing for you. It takes a while because it's connecting to your phone. Just fast forward so you guys can. And there you go, guys. The song is playing. Now, once that's done, you're pretty much done. You've done exactly what you wanted to do f if you uh, wanted your music on, you wanted your photos on, yeah, uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, guys, um, you can do this with everything. You can do it with photos, and you can do it with videos. 
Uh, the photos, if you want them to be permanently on your PlayStation, you just copy them. And in order to copy a, a photo, if most of you know, you go to the iMedia share on the photo. Uh, look at the photo from your PlayStation and right click it. With, sorry, not right click it. Press triangle and then there should be an option to copy it. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you out. This has been the Slammer 2 here. Uh, till the next time, guys, peace out.